She's the White House Press Secretary, Communications Director, and one of the reasons she's in New York. Your boss is in New York. Yes, he is. Right? Yes. And say, so you stopped on our couch first, and we appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Yes, he's uh, here to attend the parade. He's the first sitting president to ever do that, so here to honor the vets. Fantastic. Uh, we'll talk a little more about Veterans Day in a minute, but I'm sure you've heard about uh, Nikki Haley. She's got this new book out, and she says that John F. Kelly, Chief of Staff, and Rex Tillerson, the Secretary of State, tried to recruit her to resist the president. Whatever he asked, don't do it. Here she is. Instead of saying that to me, they should have been saying that to the president, not asking me to join them on their sidebar plan. It should have been, go tell the president what your differences are and quit if you don't like what he's doing. But to undermine a president is really a very dangerous thing. And it goes against the Constitution and it goes against what the American people want. And it was, was offensive. She felt that Rex Tillerson and John F. Kelly were undermining the president. I wouldn't know. I wasn't obviously in that room. And she talks about that story. But I, I would say one thing that she just said in that clip, which is undermining a president is dangerous and it does go against the Constitution and it does go against the American people, which is something that's happening in Congress right now. So I think that that's an interesting tie in. But I wouldn't know about that conversation uh, that she's she's purporting to have in the book. Do the, you uh, go ahead? The impeachment hearings start this week. Mm -hmm. Um, they will be public impeachment inquiry, I should say. Uh, the Republicans have a list of witnesses that they want to call, and the Democrats are rejecting all of them. Which is no surprise. I mean, there are public hearings starting this week, but clearly they're not going to be public because we don't get to have anybody from our side uh, out there to, to tell our side of the story. So this is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, more of the same um, as last week. We don't expect anything different. Stephanie, do you, is there a coordination between the Republicans in the House, the nine that are going to be able to ask a question, and what the president's and your messaging is uh, it, well, about the impeachment? I mean, I think that we all see the same thing that is happening, right? We've seen Adam Schiff and, and all of his lies. We've seen that they're, they're conveniently ignoring this whistleblower and the fact that his lawyer on day one of the president taking office um, tweeted out that this president needs to go and that there should be a coup. So I think that in terms of messaging, yeah, we're all on the same page in that we see what's going on right in front of us every day, and we're all going to stand strong uh, for this president. Well, it's been great having you here on this Veterans Day. What it, briefly, what does it mean to you? Uh, my father served and my grandfather served, so I thank everybody who's here. I thank everybody across this country for, uh, for what you do. This, this country couldn't do anything without veterans, and... Um, I, I really appreciate also the military families and children. Mrs. Trump is constantly going and uh, talking to them. They also serve. So it's, it's an important day, and I hope that everybody in the country will think of that. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you.